So we just got done watching The Last Full Measure, starring every actor known to Hollywood, honestly. Um, oh my God, everyone was in it. Peter Fonda and Ed Harris and Samuel L. Jackson and William Hurt and Bradley Whitford and um, these amazing women. Um, I didn't know what to expect going to this movie. Um, I knew that it was a movie about um, a soldier who had saved people. And that's all that I knew going into this movie. And that um, Sebastian Stan was in it. I wanted to go. I'm a fan. So we drove, I want to say, over close to an hour away from where we lived to go see this because it's not showing in any of our local theaters. I don't know why. When we got to the theater, um, there were only like 10 people in there, which I don't understand. It's opening weekend, and this movie is breathtaking. I've, I don't do this very often. I don't like to be vulnerable. I don't like to show it. Um, but this movie... Um, I just cried through the entire thing. Um, it is, it tells stories. It tells individual stories. It tells a story through individual stories. There, I got it out the right way. Um, and each person brings a unique perspective, um, an individualized hurt and pain that they carry, um, telling the same story but through these different lives and how they've carried it for 30 years um this thing that happened this trauma this event um it talks about the bravery of this one person um that he just did the right thing on the right day on the right moment um and he, he did it with bravery and honor and he saved the lives of all of these men. And it's just a really beautiful movie. It's inspiring. Um, there are these moments in each scene, it feels like, that you forget that they're actors that you know, that you've seen in other movies. You forget. They become real people in this movie that you don't know, that you're getting to know through their story, through their explanation of what went down that day and how they've carried it, whether it be with guilt or with shame or just this urge to do something right, some to right a wrong um, this movie is vulnerable. Um, I don't know how to describe it without sounding, I don't know, non-generational, but it shows men being vulnerable with other men and in a way that, um, I didn't have growing up. I don't, I think, I think I've seen my dad cry once or twice. It was extremely traumatizing. Um, I grew up where, you know, men aren't vulnerable. Men are strong and they carry the family and they do their job and they do their work and they can do anything and they are not weak. And this movie does such a beautiful job of showing that men can be strong and vulnerable. There's this one scene where one of the characters lifts his shirt and you just see the scars, the physical scars of his um, story of you, things that you don't think about, you think, oh yeah, Vietnam War, you know, World War One, World War Two, people died, 
we've learned from it. History won't repeat itself, blah, blah, blah. But you forget that these were people like you and me who suffered these realities, um, that they were hurt. People hurt them. Other people hurt them. And they were forced to hurt people. And it's horrible. There's this one scene with someone having to kill someone and never having experienced that and just watching them and the horror that they experienced in doing that. I personally cannot even comprehend what these people have gone through, what it's like to kill someone, what it's like to kill something. I mean, I can't even kill a bug or, <laughs> you know, um, there's no, I can't relate to it, but it's important that I watched this because, um, things I didn't know became real. Uh, I could see their physical scars, but it was more than that. It was the emotional hurt that they carry day to day, the, the weight of the constant guilt and stress. It just eats at you. And what do you do when someone gives their life for you? And how do you go on knowing is your life worth more than theirs would have been had they not? Um, I loved watching the main character go through all of the things, learning story by story and getting a little bit more involved and in, in, in depth with each character and it becoming more real because as it come, becomes more real to the audience, you're, you're kind of experiencing it from our generation with this character. Um, and what is important about this movie, I think, for sharing it and, and why I'm kind of bawling on this little video, um, is that we need more movies like this. I don't know why this isn't bigger in Hollywood. I don't know why this isn't in every theater. I don't know why it wasn't advertised. I've seen it on the TV advertised twice this week. It opened this week. Where was marketing the past couple of weeks, the past couple of months? Movies are not only in big cities. I don't understand all of Hollywood. I don't understand money about it or producing or marketing or why some movies are made that are total trash that make millions and movies like this that are so important for people to see that they're empty on opening weekend. So there are scenes in this movie that um, civilians, non-military people. Now, I mean, my dad was military. My grandfather's on both sides. Both served in World War II. My great-grandfather was in World War I. I've got pictures of my great-great-grandfather in the Civil War. I have a very military background, very proudful American loyalty to those men and women who sign up and serve our country and fight for our freedoms every day. Um, I, I can't thank them enough. But we regulars, regular people who aren't military, um, we don't know enough about what you go through. There's not enough out there that allows us to relate. And stories like this, this movie, makes it real. It makes it come alive in a way that is heartbreaking and honest and real, but relatable. Um, what I particularly loved most, and I'll just keep going about this movie, is that 
this movie expresses how we all carry a weight. We all carry weight of shame, of guilt, our own past traumas. Everybody has their own trauma. I mean, the traumas in this movie are quite particular and horrific. And I don't want to imagine what that's like for those men who had to go through that. There are these scenes about piling dead bodies on top of you to pretend that you're dead so that other people don't come and kill you. I can't, I can't imagine what that's like. That's horrific to me. But people have lived through that. That's real. And this movie does a really good job of making it real. And then there is this beautiful scene that I think everyone should watch. Um, I, I don't know how to tell you about it. But I will say this. If everyone had a safe person to go to in a safe place that was beautiful somehow, a place that had been ugly, but now somebody had made it beautiful and it was a place of trauma or hurt or pain and they are with you to allow you to just release that weight, that stress, that horror, that trauma. There is beauty in that. Um, it was hard to watch. It was uncomfortable. It was inspiring. It was beautiful. I don't know how to describe that scene uh, other than I wish that more storytelling was honest and truthful and vulnerable. Because that is people. That is people's truths. We all have it. And um, it's beautiful to allow the movie to show these characters be able to give it to someone else just for a moment. Just let it go for just a moment. Release it somehow. And move forward. Let somebody else just stand with you. You're not alone. What I really particularly loved, and then I will end this, is that this movie inspires people to do the right thing, the greater good, because it's the right thing to do. Morality. Um, lay down your life for someone, if that is your calling. It could be something small. Help someone. Help, help just someone. <laughs> Um, we need more movies like this in Hollywood. We need more inspiration and we need more honest storytelling. And we need movies that we can learn from and have compassion for. And that people learn what it is to have integrity and to work hard for the truth. And not be scared of ramifications, but but fight for what's right. To be your best self, to you have to stand up sometimes to do what's right. And this movie does an amazing job at inspiring people to do that. So if anything go see this movie. I was very moved. We just sat and watched the credits go by when it, the movie ended. Unable to move, unable to process. It was deep. It was profound. It's one of those movies you just keep thinking about and you keep thinking about. It just takes some time to, to seep in, to, to feel it. Because it's, it is sad. It's really sad, but it's also inspiring and happy. And so go see this movie. It's more than a movie. I can't recommend it enough. It was beautiful and hard, really hard to watch at times. 
but relatable, relatable to an emotional mess. <laughs> so thank you to the writer, director, thank you to the cast and the crew and the editors and everyone who makes movies for making this movie for getting this cast spot on. I mean, bravo to this cast. Um, it could have been done better. So take your money and go see this one. Don't waste it on the junk that's out there. Some of the junk and some of it's good. Star Wars was awesome, but seriously, spend your money on movies like this and Hollywood. If you're listening, which I'm sure you're not because I'm a nobody in the middle of nowhere talking in my cell phone. Um, yeah, spend your money on movies like this. I'm inspired. And now I feel like I need to do something to be better, to do something profound and important to be better. And I don't know what that is yet, but movies like this make us think and make us want. It's so as sad as it was, and as hard a movie as it was, and it, it was important. And I am changed because of it. So, go see The Last Measure. If you haven't seen the trailer, go to YouTube and watch it. Find it. Go. Go.